my father, without the slightest doubt, was the most marvelous and exciting father any boy ever had. Here is a picture of him. You might think if you didn't know him well, that was a stern and serious man. He wasn't. He was actually a wildly funny person. He made him appear so serious with, was the fact he never smiled with his mouth. He was all with his eyes. He had brilliant blue eyes, and when he thought of something funny, his eyes would flash, and if you looked carefully, you could actually see a tiny golden spark dancing in the middle of each eye. But the mouth never moved. I was glad my father was an eye smiler. I mean, he never gave me a fake smile because it's impossible to make your eyes twinkle if you aren't feeling twinkly yourself. A mouth smile is different, because you can fake a mouth smile any time you want by moving your lips. I've also learned that a real mouth smile always has an eye smile to go with it, so watch out. When someone smiles at you with his mouth but the eyes the same, it should be both. My father was not what you would call an educated man, and I doubt he got to read 20 books in his life, but he was a marvelous storyteller. He used to make up a bedtime story for me every single night, and the best ones were turned into serial steps and went on for many right nights running. One of them, which must have gone on for at least 50 nights, was about an enormous fellow called the Big Friendly Giant, or the BFG for short. The BFG was three times as tall as an ordinary man, and his, tongue, his hands were as big as wheel baskets. He lived in a vast underground cavern, not far from a filling station, and he made and he only came out into the open when it was dark. Inside the caravan, he had a powder factory when he made more than a hundred different kinds of magic powder. Occasionally, as he told these stories, my father would stride up and down, waving his arms and waggling his fingers. But mostly, he would sit close to me on the edge of my bunk and speak very softly. The big friendly giant makes his magic powders out of the dreams that children dream when they are asleep. How? I asked. Tell me how, Dad. Dreams, my love, are very mysterious things. They float around in the night like little clouds searching for sleeping people. Can you see them? I asked. Nobody can see them. Then how does the big friendly giant see them? Ah, oh, my father said. That is the interesting.